was uh, Pastor Dwayne Dawkins. Blessings to everybody. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to be able to be in company with so many people who are willing to be vulnerable and to share. Uh, mine is probably the most recent, I think, I'm not sure, but uh, I had connected with an individual of the same gender and um, I've had throughout my childhood up until even this moment um, dealing with bisexual tendencies. Uh, anointed, called of God and all of that, but did not have an opportunity to really dig into those issues and unpack them. Um, no excuse to it, just what it is. I connected with an individual. Uh, it's what they call a sneaky link. All right. Yeah. And um, in that moment, he recorded it. Um, I was aware of the recording. Prior to, it was asked if he could record, and I thought it would be for his personal uh, pleasure, so to speak. Again, I preface this all by saying it was not right, it was wrong, but that's where I was in that moment. I had to acknowledge where I was. Uh, later on that same day, he posted it. Um, he's a content creator. So this is someone who does this um, as their main or one of their sources of income or whatnot. I got a DM from the man and he was asking to link up. I gave him the same response that I give everyone that DMs me asking to link up, which was, you can pay for my services or you can allow me to film it for my OnlyFans. So those of you that believe that he knew the video was being filmed but he did not know that the video was being posted, you sound crazy. Use your common sense. Why else would a content creator be asking to record content? At this time of us DMing, I do not know anything about him. I did not know he was a pastor. I did not know he had wife and kids. I didn't even know his name. I didn't know anything about him. Now, fast forward to the link up. We linked up twice. The first time we linked up was just to chill, hang, and get to know each other, which is what I always do to people that I'm filming with for the first time. You know what I'm saying? I like to get to know you. I like to get to know the person and, and build a genuine uh, bond and friendship before just jumping straight into, you know. So the very first time we linked was just purely, you know, conversation, chilling, hanging, you know, asking each other questions, just vibing off each other, just, you know, trying to see. And that is when I found out that he had a wife and a kid, but he didn't seem to care, so why the hell should I, you know? Once the cameras was done set up, we filmed, the video was over with, he left. A couple of hours later, I posted the video, um, and then he called me, and he was like, um, I thought you was going to, uh, I thought you was going to post the video on OnlyFans and not Twitter. And so I explained to him that Twitter is an extension of my OnlyFans, you know what I'm saying? I post on Twitter to promote my OnlyFans or whatever. Um, my bad. Fast forward to the end of the conversation, he asked me to delete the video. I told him that I'm not deleting the video because you've already agreed to the video being filmed and posted, you know? But I ended up deleting the video anyways that same day because the video was not doing well. Um, it was not getting a lot of traction on Twitter. Also, I would also like to debunk. I remember in his video, he said that um, uh, he contacted me, asked me to delete the video and I blocked him. That's a lie. We actually stayed in contact with each other for a whole week after the video was filmed. Um, yes, we did. We stayed in contact with each other for a whole week after the video was filmed. And uh, during that week that we were in contact with each other, we were just uh, updating each other on the situation. You know, he was letting me know, like, everything is good. His wife and kids still haven't found out anything yet. Um, nobody has said anything to him or anything. And on my end, the video has been deleted or whatever. So at this point, it's nothing really to worry about. You know what I'm saying? Then he proceeds to tell me that this is not pastor's first time this is not his first time being in a situation like this and i was really inclined to believe that because i felt like the way that the pastor was moving was very sloppy you know um i called him immediately when i was made aware of it uh and said why did you do that you know please take it down i didn't give consent for that etc um he hung up on 
me. I called back and he had blocked me. And that was the last I'd ever heard from him. Um, that evening, you can imagine, I did not sleep. I have a wife and three beautiful sons. I pastor a church in South Florida for 14 years at that point. And family, loved ones, all of that. So the weight of that shame sat on me for the first time ever in my life. I pulled out my life insurance policy. And while church folk laughed at it, while friends distanced from them, from me, I contemplating getting rid of myself. This is the first time I'm saying much of this openly at all. So bear with me if I'm a little shaky about it. Good. Um, Thank you. This is powerful. At the end of that night, I wrestled and I said, well, I thought of my sons and I said, you know, well, do they live with the shame of having a father whose um, infidelity of that nature? Because, you know, there's usually grace for heterosexual falls. But when it comes to the same gender, homosexual, what does the scripture say? You can fall seven times, get up. But most folks have their preferences to how you're allowed to fall. Yeah. Um, this is good. And I fell in a way that most folks don't think you can come back from. Yeah. As a DL man with a job like that and a wife and kid, why would you even allow somebody to record you, even if you thought the video wasn't being posted? Why would you even play with yourself like that and allow it to be filmed, period? You know what I'm saying? Because if I was a DL man, in that situation, I wouldn't have let nobody film me. I don't give a fuck if the person told me that they were never going to post it ever. Still, no filming. I don't care. Fast forward two weeks from the time that the video was deleted. Well, recorded and deleted because it was filmed, it was recorded and posted and deleted all in the same day. Um, so yeah, we had, we're two weeks from the time that the video was filmed, posted and deleted. Um, I ended up posting the video again. But this time, I cropped his face off the video and I titled it Pastor with Wife and Kids, da 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 you know, hoping that that would uh, bring the audience in because, you know, people love taboo, people love taboo XXX videos, you know. So I was thinking, like, by captioning it that it would, you know, bring the people in because remember I told y'all the first time I posted the video, it didn't do well. It still didn't do well this go round. <laughs> It still didn't do well this go round. So I ended up deleting the video again. Um, same day. Ended up deleting the video again the same day I posted it. Fast forward three weeks from the time that the video was filmed, posted, and deleted. This is when all hell broke loose. So I'm waking up out of my sleep and my phone is blowing up. I got all kind of messages from uh, Twitter. Uh, Facebook, OnlyFans, messages from my friends and shit, and you know, so um, I'm reading all the messages and notifications and shit, and then you know, seeing what they all talking about, and I'm just like, you know, yikes, you know, I'm just as shocked as everybody else is, like, what the fuck happened, you know what I'm saying, like, what that happened from that point to this point, because you know what I'm saying, up until, because remember I told y'all, up until now, the video wasn't getting no traction at all, like, the vid, like literally the video wasn't getting no traction like nothing so i i was very confused on how the video miraculous, miraculously blew up all of a sudden you know whether it's due to it being sin which by the way my theology has not changed um i still believe in what i believe in which is the fundamental conservative interpretation of the bible but i do believe that the approach to um my situation and situations like it needs to be addressed yeah. because it's more of it than we think. Yeah. That night I uh, decided I'm going to have to live for my sons wow. and for nobody else. Wow. You know, a dead dad or a bisexual struggling dad. Yeah. Which one? Um, I decided to live wow. at least for that day. Thank you. Come on. Give day. God praise for that church. And now I'm still in the process of healing. I have gone through maybe two, three therapists. Um, my spiritual leadership has been involved. And um, 
some uh, very few of the people I pastored have actually, um, you know, been in touch with me. But I understand that we'll get into that, I guess, later. I understand the different responses from different people. Um, but now I live here in Atlanta and I am teaching uh, back in the classroom, which was my original profession and doing some other things in terms of uh, side hustles, as they would say, you know, trying to make up the difference from going from full-time ministry of a growing church to now being the poster boy for what goes wrong yeah. when you think you're secure and you're not. That's good. So yeah, the man who DM'd me said that he goes to the church that pastor preaches at, he is the one who exposed him. He went to my, um, he subscribed to my OnlyFans account and he screen recorded the video and I'm assuming he showed the video to the rest of the people in the congregation or the people at the church or whatever the hell he decided to do with the video. But whatever he decided to do with the video is what caused all the controversy.